So this is phase one of Tears of the Kingdom X Twilight Princess um, from Tears of the Kingdom TO to the K. So we start by walking uh, to Epona um, in Twilight Princess and we do the same in Tears of the Kingdom and the uh, Walnut Mountain Cave is the equivalent of the crawling space in Twilight Princess so we just walk through it and then um, after we walk through it we will get to Epona and rescue her if, her if you can call it that so you get Epona right into the, the village and uh, in this section the Theron Spring is the B variant, so you can see in the right, uh, right corner um, which locations and items equivalent to, are equivalent to which in each game. So by my rules, so uh, you can uh, write in the comments if you would like or uh, to see any other rules or if you have any other, uh, other ideas. And um, you see Theron Spring B is the part of the Walnut Cave. That's because the spring at, uh, of courage doesn't have a, a, a cave next to it, so I used uh, this this pond. And so the gold mini game is um, the equal. Yeah, we're running at the golds in Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, I I thought about having to guide them to the stable, so. Not to a real stable in Tears of the Kingdom, but to this uh, st wooden stand where you also get the milk from uh, from the from the guy, but um, it's too hard. So every every goat to lead every goat there, it's almost impossible, and so I didn't do it. I just uh, I shouted a, a bit, just like in Twilight Princess, and then I called it a day and left just like in Twilight Princess by jumping over the fence or the, the fences even though I <laughs> I didn't quite do it uh, the first time in Tears of the Kingdom so now we get into Hateno uh, as human link so without our auras <laughs> I differentiate already between human link and wolf link even though wolf link does not exist uh, at the moment I hope you are, you are curious of how I would um, replicate Wolf Link in Tears of the Kingdom. I can say I'm not using the amiibo because I don't own any amiibos. Uh, you could do that, but that's not really for me and you can't even control Wolf Link in, in the amiibo state. So I thought of a different idea, I had a different idea, but you will see in phase 3, so it would take uh, two weeks from now to until you see it. So now the fishing rod uh, is equivalent, or rather, rather the the basket is equivalent to the, to rescuing the the, um, the bottle from the pond. From, uh, so this mission is the equivalent of what I'm doing in Twilight Princess, and the uh, the reward is. A fishing spear in Tears of the Kingdom, or rather a fishing rod in Twilight Princess, and so the, the equivalent I thought of is the fishing spear, so, or the fishing harpoon, and so you get the fishing harpoon, and with the fishing harpoon you can get um, nuts, and with the nuts you can get uh, milk from the, the guy, so the nuts are the equivalent of the fish for the cat and um, yeah you catch the fish in Twilight Princess and then you collect all the nuts with the fishing harpoon so it's it is a uh, should be equivalent <laughs> or as close as possible and then you can get the bottle of milk so you get the bottle and for the princess and uh, if you empty it it's an empty bottle but in Tears of the Kingdom the bottles aren't em emptied they're just gone then uh, gone so I won't empty the milk 
and it, uh, I would I will just use it as a symbol for how many bottles I have. So this is the first bottle and every other ingredient or inside of it will be next to the bottle. So now we get the slingshot and then we do the slingshot game and after we got the slingshot game we go into our house and get our wooden sword and the wooden sword I thought about um, getting a sturdy stick or uh, any other stick and fusing it together with a uh, uh, chikaloo uh, bird nut. The reason why I do that is because if you um, fuse anything with a weapon, even though it's just a, a bird nut, uh, the weapon has plus 25 durability and so I can use the wooden stick way longer and come close to the usages in Twilight Princess without another